Come on. No, don't fight to get out. Our group formed in yeah. the year 2007, when, at a time when many, many of the dogs at the shelter were euthanized, and a few people in the community wanted to change that and make sure that adoptable dogs did not get euthanized, so that's all how we started. So we started and we helped dogs at the shelter. We helped treat dogs that have heartworm, that have illness, that have injury. Um, we promote adoptions at the shelter and we rescue dogs out of the shelter to get them homes. Tumbles actually was not from the shelter. He was um, one of our volunteers. Her neighbor had had um, a litter of puppies and this Tumbles was born without his front legs and he was the runt of the litter so he was very small and we thought that he needed some extra care he probably would need to be bottle fed um, he was having trouble competing with his siblings to, to feed on with mama and so the volunteer brought it to our attention and we said you know yes we'll we'll take care of him we'll, you know place him with an experienced puppy foster who can bottle feed him and so that's what we did she brought him in and I, I took him I had him for the first Day, and then he went to a, a puppy foster who would regularly bottle feed him and stuff like that. I worked for the Humane Society or volunteered with them for a while and then found out about shelter dogs and so I went and started volunteering with them. And now I'm on the board, I'm the rescue coordinator that helps get the dogs out of the shelter to rescue. So. It's his personality, I think. I mean, you know, your heart goes out to him when you see he doesn't have any legs. And he's, and, he's, and he's cute. But his personality is that he's not like saying, poor me, I don't have legs, I can't get around, I can't do this. He does have a terrier personality. He's got terrier in him. So he does have a terrier personality. Um, but he, he'll, as you see, he gets anywhere he wants to go. He goes and he's independent and then he's got a little box at home instead of a crate. He likes the box because he can peek his head out. So once I put him in his box, I mean, if I put toys in there, he'll play with his toys and then finally go to sleep. I take him to work with me. <laughs> and everybody at work loves him. And it's, I go from, he goes from one office to the next office to the next office. He gets not short of attention, believe me. There's always someone with him. Wherever I go, he goes. He's got a toy now, he's pulling. So. <laughs> Maybe we should let him rest.